Hey, what's up and hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kennedy and I'm a vintage reseller. So we do a lot of thrifting, estate sales, yard sales, pop-ups and all that good stuff on the channel. So if that's something you're into, definitely stick around for this video and subscribe so you can see all my other content. And for those of you that have been here with me, um, you already know I love you guys so much. So thanks for being around for another video. Um, so today I thought we would just do a regular old thrift with me at one of my favorite thrift stores. Um, I feel like it's been a while since I've done one of those on this channel. I've been so caught up with pop-ups and like going to the bins and estate sales and all that good stuff. So I thought we would get back to, back to what got us started. You know what I mean? So I am outside of my favorite store right now and I don't really have anything I'm looking for in particular necessarily. Um, I mean, it is winter and I do have a pop-up coming up next week. So I do want to get some more stuff for that. But other than that, like nothing too specific. So um, let's go ahead and get out of here. Got my mask, got my fanny pack with the hand sanitizer. So we are ready to go. <laughs> section is so picked over today which is such a bummer for me this is actually kind of cute though hold on i think i like this i was just talking smack and then i found something but normally they have so many belts and today it's very thin pickings exposed like contrast stitching I really like not crazy about the price but we'll think on it You guys, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, instantly to the cart.
Okay, but why do I kind of want this? It's gorgeous. Should I get a yes or no? I know you can't answer me, but just pretend and answer me, please. <sighs> That's not a bad price. I might, I might. Can we just take a minute to appreciate how beautiful this couch is? They just don't make couches like they used to. Ugh. So this is what I'm getting, this is what I'm leaving. This one looks like more because the chair's bigger, I swear. <laughs> so before I head out and get checked out, um, we'll do a haul when I get home, but I wanted to show you the stuff that I'm not getting because they were still very used. But there were just little things here and there that I decided not to get it, whether it's price or the season, etc. etc. So I really want to show you some of the other cute stuff that I found first. honestly terrifying um so i was in this store right and i walked into the store at 35 percent, right 35 percent. so i knew i had to make this a very efficient like trip because my phone was dying i don't know what possessed me to make a youtube video and go thrifting on 35 percent, knowing good and well that i spend a good amount of time every time i go into a thrift store and if i'm recording that's going to require some serious energy from my phone but nonetheless i did it and then obviously after i like was going through my cart. I was like, wow, this is really good. I need to make a TikTok about it because, because everyone deserves to see it, right? And so then I started to make this TikTok. And when I started to make this TikTok, I was on 10%. And then I was going to the front to check out and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have my actual card with me. I have to use tap to pay. So now I'm on 2% in line, hoping they hurry up and check out so I can quickly take my phone off airplane mode click click pay for my like cart and get out well i get up there and he's rang up everything honestly the damage was not nearly as bad as i was expecting i don't know the prices were kind of kind of good and fresh um anyway let me stay on track um and i went to go tap to pay and this is the first place i've ever seen this but like my total was 155 and he was and like i tapped it on the little screen and it goes exceeds tap limit what so now i'm like what the hell am i supposed to do and i'm sitting there panicking and trying to figure out what my next move is because he's still packing up my stuff so i'm like all right think 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 like what are we gonna do i don't know where that card is right now and um i was like the only other card i have with me is my work card and i'm not about to put my work card down for this and so i was like hey weird question but like can we split this payment and he was like yeah and he kind of questioned me i was like oh well blah blah explain the situation he's like okay how much do you want to try and i was like i don't know however much you think is gonna let me tap to pay i was like let's try half luckily i could pay it in like two halves but oh my god that was terrifying so i'm like sitting here now my phone's on one percent you know what i mean and i'm sitting here like please like can i do this or not otherwise i'm about to have to leave every single thing i just had in my cart and that you just ring up it took like 10 minutes i'm gonna have to leave it here and I can't handle that embarrassment today. But luckily we split it into two payments. Everything worked beautifully. Um, 
I did use my 1% though to take a thumbnail and to record myself putting everything in my car. I don't know, that 1% was kind of lasting long today, but I am grateful nonetheless um, for my phone. And honestly, the thrift gods were like killing it. Tuesdays, I've, I've determined that Tuesdays are the days that they put out everything. Like they kind of do restocks throughout the week, but Tuesdays? Insane. Like I didn't even go through every section. I literally skipped all the long sleeves, the short sleeves, the blouses, the sweaters. Like I skipped all of that for the women's wear because I was like, I already have too much in my cart. <laughs> I cannot wait to show you guys. Anyway, um, I just had to run to CVS. Clearly, you can see in the background, I'm at CVS. Uh, got a lightning charger. I'm on that, and then I need to swing by and pick up my like little Target order. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and then we will head home, and then I will do this haul because it's so good and I hate that my phone was like running on low because I really couldn't show you as much as I wanted to in the moment I was also getting very caught up in the moment with all my finds but anyway I, enough rambling let's go <laughs> there she is oh I'm so excited to go through this hello guys um so clearly it's been a few days um and since I did that trip to the thrift it just gets dark at like four o'clock now and when I don't have natural light I just I have no motivation to record videos. So, um, it has been a few days, but we're just gonna hop right into this haul because I have so many goodies I wanna show you guys. Uh, so let's just start with whatever's on top. All right, so we'll start with this one. It's super nostalgic for me. I feel like girls in elementary school have this all the time and I always wanted one, but I never got one. Um, but it's got this like puffer vest design on the front. It does have a hood, and the hood is actually removable, which I think is totally awesome because sometimes the faux fur is just like doing too much, but um, it does have the puffer vest design on the front and kind of that like neo oh, there's a sign, okay, in the Neapolitan um, colorway, and then um, the back and the sleeves and everything are a sweater material, so it should be super warm. And then quilted jackets have been like huge recently and so I was really happy to find two, actually I think I found three in this trip. So here's the first one, it's kind of like an olive brown color with a pink interior, again kind of staying on that like chocolate and strawberry ice cream um, look, but here's that first one. And then I also found this one, I thought it was going to be L.L. Bean because kind of that quilted um design with the corduroy color i actually found a um sweater vest when i was in georgia a couple videos ago that was a very similar design to this um and i thought this was going to be llb but it's actually old navy um i will be keeping this one for a little bit before i sell it but um there's that quilted exterior super lightweight and then there's the corduroy color so very cute Staying on the old navy track, I did find this fleece hoodie. I don't know if you can like see that logo, but they need to go back to this logo. I love it. I also got this skirt because of the butterflies. Honestly, I couldn't resist. I think that's just so cute. You guys already saw the belt. I showed you guys this earlier, but there's that gold key sign. And this is 100% um, genuine leather. It is by Mosimo, which I'm pretty sure is just a Target brand, but it was just like too cute for me to leave behind. And I think it might be a little big for me, but the best part about belts is you can always add holes. So I'm gonna make that work. Um, obviously, if you have a belt, you need pants. So. I did find quite a few pair of pants. This is the first pair. They are like a suede genuine leather um, pair. They are by Ann Taylor. I'm not sure if they're gonna fit me or not. I really hope so. Um, they had no pockets on the back and I just really, really loved how thick that, um, what is that called? I, waistband is? There you go. <laughs> the waistband is in my brain. Back to Old Navy, I just loved how wide this was. I think that was sit really pretty, kind of was like off the shoulder and those buttons are so big and chunky. The sweater's big and chunky. This just like screams winter. Um, and I know someone's gonna style that really cute. Also, we just got this Hello Kitty little baby tee. 
Um, there's like a Hello Kitty like Sanrio obsession out there. So I know someone's gonna like eat this up in like five seconds after I post it. Speaking of adorableness, oh my goodness, I go on. Look how stinking cute this sweater vest is. It's dead stock originally from a JCPenney, all embroidered, like, oh my goodness, look at those details. I was so happy to find this. I don't know who gave this up without even trying to wear it. Look. Do you see that? That lace up in the front, this is screaming rockstar girlfriend. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to wash this so I can wear it somewhere. Okay, so I'm kind of on a quarter run kick. I think it's just the colder weather. This is just like a cold weather um, material to me. But I did find this super cute jacket. It's kind of like an olive color. I just loved all of the um, pockets on the front there. Hopefully you can see that. Since I'm talking about corduroy, I'll talk about my corduroy pants. Um, they do have a little bit of like a kick flare at the end, a little boot cut design. So I think it's gonna be super cute on. Staying on that theme with the flare, I did find these free people like bell bottom pants. Look at that like opening at the bottom, it's so big. Um, and it does have a really cute design on the front. So. Um, I need to find a pair of platforms to go with these because they're a bit long. <laughs> okay, so this piece, I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking like the polo sweater, I'll post a picture right here. Like, I feel like it, this was that inspired, you know what I mean? Like this was inspired by that. But at the same time, when I was checking out, I was like, maybe it just screams proud to be American. And I just, that, that's not the vision I had for this. Um, but here's this. I just really like the stitching right there on like the American flag. And then it's also along the hood. So I don't know. I think it's kind of cute, but also kind of cringy. But hopefully someone thinks it's cute because this is super soft. So someone needs to get this. I did also just get this um, like little brown cropped zip up jacket. It does have a hood. This is for myself. Um, but I just like to have these around, so I can just wear them with a pair of jeans or like sweatpants, kind of like I'm doing right now. I have like my Juicy Couture like velour sweatpants on um, with a sweater, but it, it matches, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, I like to have just little things like that to wear around. So I did pick that up for myself. Back to the quilted jackets, I did get this one. Heavily grandma inspired. It is a bigger size, so everyone's included. Um, but I really liked the design on this one. It makes a little bit of a thicker one than those other two, so this one will definitely keep you warm. I got two pairs of men's jeans for 99 cents. I kid you not. Um, the first pair is this pair of Wranglers. Like, look how good that washing distressing is. I was shook. so perfect and then i also got these these are a little dirtier than the wranglers but i still think they're cute nonetheless both of those are my size and i will be keeping them because i just like a really good pair of denim and sometimes the men's wear is just it, it hits more you know what i mean because you don't always want something super tight so i did get both of those for myself staying on the men's track i did i get these real tree pants some of you may be thinking like, girl, what the heck are you thinking? But honestly, this is or this design, this pattern has been doing really well on like Depop and stuff. Um, it's like the whole craze right now for streetwear. So I did pick these up. They are Wranglers, and they do kind of have that. You can't really see because it it's camo. <laughs> Duh. Um, but it does kind of have like a double knee design on the front. And I also got this cute little gator too. Um, t-shirt. I'm probably gonna wear it for a little bit and then put it in my like kids file, but I just thought that graphic was so cute. So I did pick this up. And then if you guys watched my last video from going to the Goodwill bins, I did find a t-shirt version of this brand. Um, they have like a bunch of different designs. This is not vintage at all, but I know someone's gonna love it. So I did get this one. I will be selling this one. I kept the t-shirt, but um, it's Let's Summon Demons little hoodie it says it again 
on the sleeve and then the front just says activities for children. So the front is very boring, but <laughs> the back is kind of crazy. All right, I did also pick up this little lingerie top. Um, little vintage like, lingerie pieces do so well for me on every single pop-up. I feel like people will come to my booth. I've had a lot of returning people come to my booth and simply just buy my little lingerie pieces. So I do want to continue to pick those up and look at how pretty this one is in the sunlight. I knew it was pretty in the store, but like when this hits the sun, it's incredible. So you can see all the little details right down the front. We are almost done here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I did also get these pants. Um, they do have a little bit of a flare at the bottom as well. Again, you can see a theme with all my pants. Lots of fading, a little bit of distressing. Um, super cute though. Like, look at those pockets. <laughs> I like to pick up little things for my future child or future nieces and nephews, whatever comes first. Um, so I'm adding this, it's just a really cute Oshkosh um, little jacket, but I really love the colorway and the kind of sporty design. So I did grab that. And then I grabbed this one for me now. Um, it's kind of a similar design. Really thick hood. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. Actually, I think I'm gonna do accessories and then I'm gonna finish on my two favorite jackets. Okay, so I got three bags. This is the first one, just a super cute. This is actually looking really cute with my outfit right now, but it's kind of like a crochet bag, um, crossbody. And then I got this cute little green bag. I thought it would be really cute for like a night out. And then I also got this bag. This was probably one of my favorite ones. Um, I mean, look at that bow and like the little heart appliques on the bottom. It reminded me of the silhouette. Um, I found it a couple weeks ago in a different thrift store. It was by Ferragamo and this has a very similar bag shape to that. And so that's why I was drawn to it. Pink is not my color. So I might see if I can find a version for myself um, in a different color somewhere. There's no brand in this, so it's gonna be hard, but um, I thought it was too cute. I did end up getting the jewelry box. Um, everyone kept looking at it. like after I looked at it and I was like, I don't know. I went to my cart and I kept seeing people, people pick it up and I decided that it needed to come home with me, no one else. So I did grab it, it was $2, you can't beat it. All right, now we get into my two favorite jackets of the day. First one up, we have this one. It is a vintage fade glory, it is a thick one. Um, it is super heavyweight, it's got like a quilted interior. Um, it's definitely gonna keep you super warm, I love that the like accent pockets are leather and hopefully you can kind of see the details that went into that button but i think this is going to be super warm for somebody and then this one i've already kind of given you guys a sneak peek but this one definitely takes a cake for my best find of the day guys like you're kidding i am definitely going to keep this a while before i sell it if i even sell it um, but I'm so glad it's getting colder and this is like lightweight, but it's giving heavyweight if that makes sense. So this will definitely be something that I can utilize um, down in the south for winter, which is awesome because I found a similar one at an estate sale, but it's leather and it is a thick one. Um, so I definitely have to go out of town to probably really get used to that one, but I was super happy to find this one. It's kind of a longer one, so it does hit like around my knee, so I think that'll be killer. Especially if I did like a denim on denim moment, like, I don't know, it's giving Britney Spears, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but um, <laughs> that is my whole haul for today. There is a reason I do not allow myself to go into that thrift store very often, like once, maybe twice a month if I'm lucky, um, because I just find so many great things, especially when I go on restock day, like, I genuinely had to put back like 
a good half of my cart. Um, and I left with like the best pieces. So Whew. anyway, um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Definitely let me know down below like what was your favorite piece. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful life until I drop my next video. And I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.